guys. My name is Chukumobin Daniel Moku, a co-author of the article on the review. In this research, we tried to um, improve the efficacy of jejunin. Jejunin is derived from the main plant, and it's been demonstrated to show some cytotoxicity against cancer cells. However, just like many other chemotherapeutic agents available, um, it presents with lots of drawbacks, like um, solubility, indiscriminate toxicity, um, high dosage requirements. And so, to circumvent these limitations, we try to encapsulate jetonin in tritocin, derived from naturally occurring captin. And, um, the non-encapsulated jetonin was employed in um, cytotoxic experiments against cancer cells and against um, normal lung fibroblast cells. And at the end of the experiments, microscopic evaluations showed um, a more pronounced apoptosis in the chitocin-treated cells in comparison to the jejunin and paclita cell-treated cells, while minimal apoptosis were recorded for the normal fibroblast cell. And um, uh, a graphical illustration shows a much reduced IC50 value for chitosine when compared to jejunin and paclita cell, which shows it's more efficacious against the cancer cells. On the other hand, for the normal cells, chitosin had m higher IC50 values compared to paclita cell, showing that it's the, the normal cells tolerated it more. So, in conclusion, this shows that nanojetonine considerably enhances jetonine cytotoxicity while um, exhibiting minimal toxicity against normal cells. So the million dollar question is how can this be applied to ameliorate the suffering and improve the outlook of lung cancer patients. So by improving the therapeutic index of jejunine, jejunine loaded chitosin can be said to be a safe carrier for, for jejunine and uh, can and warrants further in vivo and clinical um, applications. I want to acknowledge the efforts of other authors, as well as the Institute of Biochemistry, Molecular Biology and Biotechnology, University of Colombo, Sri Lanka.